So today I want to talk to you about some massive server news. Uh, we are actually switching server hosts. Now, in the near future, we're talking maybe in about a week, the server is going to be down for a couple of days. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be switching to a brand new host. We're going to be getting two more gigabytes of RAM. We're going to be installing donation options for all the donors so they can have uh, like rainbow armor. We've got trails, like the kind of stuff Hypixel has on your character so we got some really cool stuff for the donors which is something that we didn't have before which we can now offer to the table which i just think is really cool uh, so we're doing that and also when we switch this brand new server what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be having a brand new map now i'm not entirely sure who's going to be making this it may be done by our server developer just simplicity or it may be done by one of his friends there's a lot of talented people out there Actually, if you guys know any really talented people out there um, uh, that are really good with World Painter, please do let me know because, you know, I'm kind of searching for someone that's, you know, really talented. I've got lots of cool ideas uh, for the new map and uh, it's going to just be so much better for building. I love places like Knoxville, but we've got horrible places like Gold Bay where there's so little that you can do just due to the landscaping so what we're actually going to be doing is taking our best projects from this server and you know like knoxville and now we're going to be putting it on the new server but we're going to be on a brand new map so there's going to be huge new areas to build in lovely mountainside ranges that are done to a real professional grade <laughs> what the hell and um it's going to just be a lot you know better it's going to be a lot nicer to build in the server's going to look higher standard and yeah, it's just going to look really, really sick. So that's going to be amazing. Due to the larger world edit, we're going to have a plot world, which is where creative builders can come in just to make practice builds. If they want to try out something really new, really experimental, they can go there and do that. Trial builders, you can also go in there and do that. And we're actually going to allow guests to possibly build in there. It may be, um, it may be a donation thing. Uh, for the plot world we're thinking about that i don't like charging people for money but this website costs about 30 dollars a month and that's pretty expensive you know i also get a lot of graphics work done for this um, so thinking about that kind of side of things it could actually work out quite nicely uh, let's check out slash war bristol because a lot of you guys actually haven't seen that it's a new warp it's by just simplicity and it's by classic we just got go hovering in the air there and this warp is really awesome as you can see it's got like a real character to it it's got like a real atmosphere to it i think it looks amazing it's kind of like um knoxville but it won't kill your pc in the process of flying around the place and you know it's in a normal kind of like summer summer season rather than in the fall as well so you've got them green leaves on the trees so that's bristol uh, a lot of you will know that I recently hosted an eco house competition and some of you still haven't watched my video I guess and you're all asking who won I got the winner's house right here guys if you want to TP to me you can come check it out the server IP is in the description so you can come and check it out if you really want to this is the winner of the eco house competition as you can see, it looks really cool. This is built by Dragon Ass. Look at this thing. I actually have a cinematic video on my channel of this build in the Eco House competition. And it just, you know, it dominates this build. It's absolutely insane. Um, you know, well done to the runner up, Goal. Uh, you did a nice job, man. Uh, and it was a good attempt. But that house is just freaking crazy. It's one of the best on the server. I'm not too sure on this house. I mean, it has some potential, but it's looking a bit weird. I would say whoever's building this, dude, you need to sort it out. I can see it's kind of semi-inspired by Dragon's House, but it kind of just looks like a retarded, boxy mess. No offense, but you need to sort it out, man. Um, so, yeah, we got that sorted. And I also want to talk to you guys a lot about Palm Beach, the Slash World Palm Beach. Yeah, that was, a, that was a really good description on the house. <laughs> it does though, right? It does. It looks like a retarded boxy mess. I think I think it's got potential. Yeah, it does. It's got some nice angles and some nice shapes going on, but like... But just... you said it. 
It just doesn't look <laughs> right, you know. He, he hasn't finished it off properly. There's there's one angle that looks really good. Twitch then... was broken, so YouTube brought me here. I don't actually stream on Twitch. I've been thinking about doing it. Um, if I streamed on Twitch, I'd actually earn a lot more money. I know that, but I don't do YouTube for the money. I do it for the enjoyment. Um, and I've heard Twitch is really popular, you know, for these kind of live streams, but... I don't know, would it be as popular for what I do? I mean, I do Minecraft buildings like Corrales. Would it be as popular on Twitch to do it as it is on YouTube? I don't know, guys. Let me know. Would you rather me do this on YouTube? I mean, you'll all be notified anyway if I do it on YouTube, so it's convenient. Or would you rather me do it on Twitch? Let me know in the uh, chat, and I will respond to you guys, of course, as always. So I wanted to talk to you about Palm Beach. Now, this guy on a server called Captain Blue, or Captain Blur, <laughs> I'm not quite sure what he's called, but um, he came on the server recently, and he's an absolutely godlike plane bird. I'm going to show you some of his planes. This guy is insane. Next level. Holy crap. Let's go slash home, and let's check this out. I appear to be getting some server lag. You getting server lag? What is going on? I'm not getting any yet, but it could just be your location. All right, well, we're in a plane anyway, so I guess that's convenient. We're in the right place. Live stream lag. It's always good. Home's got yeah, reset. Like... Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I can't get out of this place. And we are switching, you know, to a brand new server soon. This kind of stuff won't happen. This is why I want to make the move so badly. But this is Captain kind of this is captain blue's area he's making some planes you're going to see this on my channel eventually when i find the inspiration to tutorial it it's a minecraft concord plane looks absolutely fantastic why is the live, live stream has just cut out are you kidding me what is going it's, on it's just like yeah it's like lagging really hard i think it's youtube that's actually doing it youtube's being like, like straight up retarded right now <laughs> oh, this is giving me AIDS, dude. What is happening? Nothing ever works out, does it? <laughs> no, it seriously doesn't. My luck is just the worst. <laughs> oh my god. I just want to record this. Why can't you let me, YouTube? But anyway, yeah. guys, welcome back to the stream. We're in Captain Blue's area, or Captain Blur's area. Hey, Acti, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, and these are some of the planes that he's built. I swear to god, this guy is one of the best builders I have ever seen. At making planes i've seen some pretty crazy builders and this guy is just <laughs> he is next level this is just absolutely mad if you guys want to check it out i'm going to hang around this area for about a minute and you guys can just tp to me but this is the really really crazy thing that i want to be talking to you about so some of you may be aware of the uh, airport called Heathrow. now Heathrow is in london in england and it is the busiest airport in the world now this airport is absolutely insane. I do believe it has something like seven terminals. It's crazy big. And what we're actually gonna be doing as a team effort is we're gonna be building this airport. I'm gonna live stream the whole thing for you guys. And we're gonna be doing it on the server. Now this is gonna be on the new server, which is, you know, gonna be way bigger. We're gonna have a planned out area just for this airport. And this is gonna be in our massive city area. I really can't wait till we get constructing our city area massive modern skyscrapers popping up left right and center huge cinemas hotels apartment buildings office this buildings gonna it's gonna be insane i mean you've seen our barn houses you've seen our townhouses i'm really excited to see what the people on this server can pull off when it comes to that kind of stuff and i'm sure all of you guys would love to see it anyway uh welcome to the stream man um we're just showing off on my series called builds creative and this is on life of an owner and we basically go around my server, we talk about news, new topics, what's going on, what's happening. And I just kind of show you guys around. Um, so I'm guessing you're new to the server and you just joined. Welcome. So we're going to be heading down to what warp is it again? To Gold Bay. we got some news to discuss there. Now Gold Bay is going to be removed as a warp. Gold, as you may have guessed, is the owner of this town. Gold has lost all motivation and I can understand purely why this place drains it out of you i mean you're stuck with this very flat area it's really difficult to have a vision and know what to do with this place it's so flat you really don't know what to do it's on the border of a city and a town what do you do to this place it is quite difficult to work with it and uh, for one guy to plan it out i can understand it got challenging 
So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the best projects from Gold Bay and we're going to be making a new Gold Bay. Now the brand new Gold Bay is going to be on a rocky hillside. We're going to have hillside modern homes. It's going to be really cool and we're also going to be reorganizing a lot of the projects around here and putting them into different warps that we're going to set up. Look at this. All right, I'm going to TP to Jasper. What did you find? Who made this? Uh, simplicity dude the server is lagging up a storm we need to get this sorted this is why we are switching hosts this is absolutely freaking horrendous i can't stand this i can't live like this with this server lag this is going to kill me but what is it doing kawaii why are you not working oh well you know what screw kawaii i don't need you uh is there any signs there must be a sign right built by oh uh, this is a trial builder um, it's not standard, don't be offended, but I like that you've given it a go and you know, it's showing some potential. What I would do is I would, I would remove this cross kind of pattern here, the pathways. I think that looks kind of strange. I like your custom trees, but I'd probably have them like, I'd have like them around the side and maybe extend a bit off, have them coming through the building. There's loads of cool stuff that you can do with this. Um... It's showing some potential this build, but it's built very simply, very basic. I'd probably make this room a little bit bigger. I mean, look at how cramped this is inside. It needs more space than that, man. So I'd make yeah, it a little I, bit bigger. I definitely think it's all, like, on the simple side. You know? Yeah. So, like, it has, like, a lot of potential, like you said, but, like, I think it's, like, almost too symmetrical. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. It just looks like... I mean, you get different needs, like, kind of shapes. You can get T-shaped barn conversions, which is just like a simple T. So you have this structure right here, and then you have just a line right here. This is kind of like a H-shaped structure. Now, I don't think I've ever seen one of them before. But just take this into consideration right here, dude. you got this kind of bridge for the middle, and this is connecting, you know, two of your kind of like, two of your buildings together. Let's just call them buildings. I know it's one building. Let's call them building parts. Um, this is humongous, right? And if this is going to be symmetrical... It's going to like end up here, which is, you know, yeah. over where you set your floor plan. And there's supposed to be a window here, dude. But this is going to have to come across over the window. I would recommend that you plan this out with red wall before building it. So then you know you're not going to run into any problems because you pre-planned. You've got a clean idea of what's going to be happening. Someone wants to see the church, I think. How Could is be, this yeah. church looking? I didn't know that the you were building this there church. For sure. This is a church. I thought this was originally a barn conversion. So TJC05, we took a little bit of a risk with him, but we saw some good potential in this guy, and he's uh, showed some skill. Uh, and I thought this was a barn conversion, but it's a church built in a barn style. I mean, a lot of barns, you know, were churches. So realistic. I actually haven't seen that much of it before. I'm going to check it out in a second, though. What is this? Taking vehicles to a whole new level. Cars require a wall behind. Oh, this is the car vault. So Dubsy had this amazing idea on the server. Don't worry, man. I'm going to get back to your church conversion in a second. Um, but Dubsy is an absolutely insane car builder. He's amazing. He's done so many of my tutorials for my cars on my channel. Guys, check it out if you want to build a cool house for your home. I've got you sorted. I've got literally like 100 videos on like car builds on my channel. All built by this guy. So if you need a car for your home, you can copy and paste any one of these cars and it is a rapidly growing uh, collection we've got here. Not just by dubs, we got more. You got LDR8s, you got Bugattis, you got Koenigsegg's, more Koenigsegg's, Lamborghinis, you got 4x4s. Look at how cool some of these 4x4s are, guys. Look at this. Like a little Land Rover. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, Simplicity makes really good cars as well. So we've got some Simplicity motors here as well. So you guys can TP to me here as well. If you guys want to check out some of these cars, maybe put them in your own houses. Take a few cheeky print screens and you can have them in your own houses. What do we have here? <laughs> what is that? That is so tough. <laughs> My God. This is a bit too flat for my liking. Buses? No, not buses. Little vans are hard to make, dude. 
This isn't a bad attempt. I would actually probably make an inside though, dude. I'll put a door at the back here. I'd put some chests inside. You know, I'd I'd roleplay a bit. Give it some more personality, you know? There's a lot you can do with these vans, but... That is a good attempt. Vans are hard to make. I'd probably change this up a bit. It seems a bit too low to the ground, dude. This is not bad. Not bad. It's simple, I guess. Cars are not easy to make. They t take like a little while to learn. This guy is like acing cars. Look at this. This dubsy. There you go. This guy aces car design. So guys, you want to see some cool cars around the server? TP to me now. And you can check out this place. This is the Car Vault by dubsy This is eventually going to be transported to our flat lab world on the new server. We're going to have a really clean display of all this kind of stuff. I want to have this massive vault building where you guys can come in and even see things like table designs. We're going to have a room, like a, like a massive kind of room dedicated to tables, dedicated to chairs, dedicated to kitchen plans. You know, so you guys can just come in and get some inspiration. If you get stuck on anything, you can come into this vault and you can gather tons of ideas. And I think this is going to help a lot of people's productivity really, and really get them a motivated. Really cool idea. A really cool idea. Instead of doing like maybe a vault, maybe you could have like a shopping mall. That would be cool. Shopping so like mall. Like, so like you would have like a shopping mall with like, let's say like an... Uh, like a sofa called? store Ikea. or something. Like an Ikea. Oh yeah. Actually. You got like, like a Walmart that has like a whole bunch of other hey, stuff. Hey, I have like a car sales thing. Oh, hey Ben. That could be cool. Oh, hey, hey, hardcore gamers. It's nice to see so many people joining. Hey, man. Uh, yeah, shopping mall, that sounds like a cool idea. What about if we, like, time-lapsed uh, the shopping mall? Of course, I'd get in and help. I'd buy, like, an alt account. You imagine that, like, ten of us on the server all building this beautiful, just, big, just modern building, shopping like, mall. Just huge thing and just grinding something out. And we like just cinematic it, like, as yeah, we're building it. Dude, that would be sick. We need to make that happen one day. Um, who are we gonna I go to can. now? Let's TP to some different builders. I don't know where to go. Uh, warp wise, we've covered a lot. Dragons here. I'm who building my uh, barn. Guys, uh, so. <laughs> guys, show me something interesting, something new that I can check out. What do we got here? This is actually a really cool build that I can show you guys. This is put by Shivery. This is one of the very first barn style townhouses. A very rare build. Really cool though. I mean, these are super rare, unique. This is awesome. Unfortunately, a lot of our world edit has broken, and if some of my trusted members of staff could go around and help fix some of that, that would be amazingly appreciated. Um, because, you know, it sucks when world edit breaks due to, you know, server issues, which we've been having a lot of recently, which really do suck. So I do apologize for that, guys. You may want to check some of your builds and just see, you know, if uh, any of your stop lag world edit has been broken. Uh, we've been having a lot of server issues recently and I don't want any of you guys to lose any progress. That would absolutely suck. So just make sure you, you know, overcheck all your builds. This is Slash Warp Palm Beach. This is our massive beach that we have. We pretend, you know, it's a beach for the locals and they can come here. They can relax on some sunbeds, under some lounges, you know. Really sick. We've got loads of these cool little tiki bars spread across the beach as well. There's tons of really cool stuff on the server. Talking of cool stuff, I've got another thing I can show you guys. Slash Warp Skulls has been completely redone. We're adding tons of custom maps to this place as well, which is going to be so cool because you guys can come here. You can grab like iMac maps to put in item frames. You can grab like stop signs to put on roads. We're going to have everything here, guys, just like World of Corrales. And uh, this is a forever expanding room. Unfortunately, some more broken world edit. If someone could get in here and help fix that up. That would also be amazingly appreciated. As you can see, this is built by Classic, and we've got tons of cool player heads in here. Look at this. From bins to PMC heads. Really, really cool. So I've got a fan classic. I even love this kind of like little pattern he's done, you know, it gives it life. And if you guys are wondering why it's got dirt and this on the roof, we had lots of world edited stuff in here, like a table on there. And a lot of it is broken due to this big server issue we had today. Ugh, so annoying. Don't understand what's going on, but we're switching server companies. We're going to get this sorted and this will never hopefully happen again. So we're going to TP to TJ and we're going to check out what he's up to. This is a church, really cool. 
this design actually has a lot of potential, but TJ, <laughs> I'm kind of wondering, why does your church have a swimming pool? You know? That's kind of random. Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> that's, that's just there. Don't worry about that. And, you know, after they go pray, they swim in the pool. I don't know, that could be a pretty cool church, I'm guessing. And then they could <laughs> they could eat out here, I guess, after they're done praying or whatever they're doing in there. Uh, stained glass windows. A bit simple for my liking. See if you can come up with something a little bit cooler, dude. But yeah, this is this is showing some potential for sure. It's just for the summer camps. It needs a little camp. bit of improvement, I gotta say. But I think you're doing a good job, man. Keep it up. Uh, you're showing some real potential, and you're definitely gonna become a good builder one day. I can see that. This is a little project that Jax is actually working on. So Jax, you've been away from building for quite a while, uh, and uh, just yeah, you're getting back too. into it. I guess I had a pretty good start back on too. I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Slight backstart. Yeah, it's been a while. No, I don't have a new server, Jasper, but I'm having a brand new... I'm having this server transferred to a brand new server company who's sponsoring me. I'm sponsored at the moment, but I'm moving to an even better sponsor on a bigger server. Uh, so I'll have more RAM, the server will be smoother, chunks will load faster, you guys will like it more. And we're taking the cool parts of this map, like Knoxville, goddamn... We're taking all the cool projects and we're going to move them from this server to the brand new one. So it's effectively kind of going to be the same server, except for like, you see like areas like this, like, no, it's going to be so much better done. Like we're going to have like mountains, beautiful laid out building areas. So a lot less is going to have to, a lot less will have to be done by hand. You know, me and the trusted stuff spend hours just setting up plots for you guys. And, you know, we don't mind doing it, but it would be so much more convenient if we could have some really nice landscape that we can just work with. Who's making the new map, uh, Mr. Shots? Um, Boy Boy is not making our new map, okay? Um, <laughs> I've had Simplicity, a guy that works for our servers, actually, he's insanely talented. I had no idea. See, this map that Boy Boy made, he did a fantastic job on. But, you know, we've kind of evolved from this stage. We've had to do a lot by hand because a lot of the landscaping was screwed up. Like, this was all done by hand. Check this out. I'm sorry about the slow chunk loading. The server's kind of not in a good state right now, which is why we're moving to a new one. Um, this was all done by hand. This river. Look at how much time we spent doing this. Like, the original landscaping that was made on Wild Painter is barely, like, existent anymore. It's all been terraformed, all done by hand, all done by Wild Edit to just look so much better. We're not sure who we're going to choose to make our new map. We've got Just Simplicity, who's our website developer. Not our website developer, he's our developer. He's really, really talented at making maps. He actually used to charge around about $300 to make maps and he used to sell a lot this guy is amazing making maps he's been in some really big building teams and um, he's actually my favorite traditional builder of all time and I had no idea this guy was the same guy uh, that I last reviewed on but I reviewed this big traditional mansion the last traditional mansion I reviewed was built by simplicity I had no idea they were the same guy but this mansion is insane guys you need to go check it out have a look on my showcase series the last traditional mansion, I think it's called like Insane Traditional Mansion, on Wilder Corrales, like eight months ago or something around that. Absolutely crazy. Built by Simplicity. He is unbelievable. Now this is uh this is also built by Dragon. Dragon has done this by hand, guys, so appreciate that. And you know, he's from um Sweden. So I think we've got like a little Swedish flag up there. You know, it's like a cool little touch of detail. Uh, and, you know, this is some of the other projects that he's been working on. I know a lot of you guys have seen this. It's really cool. Like, I love these um, electricity pylons. Seen them copied around a couple of servers. Um, Dragon's noticed that. We get a lot of our stuff copied, which kind of sucks. I'm going to answer some of your questions. Okay, that's nice, Lord Piggy. Thank you for telling me that. Uh, yeah, he is very good, Mr. Shots. Uh, oh, hey, Exo, welcome to the chat. Okay. So what else can we show you guys on the server? We've been going for 30 minutes already. That is crazy. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you some of this. Just Simplicity has recently got into modern. And, you know, hinting the name, he's going for simplistic <laughs> types of buildings. 
this is one right here really cool he's just got into modern like he's legit just started building modern and look what he's creating this is not finished it's just a cool example just so i can show you guys what he's doing go man i love this house please finish it please finish it is it finished oh you did finish this i think you finished it when i was on holiday Ooh, i haven't seen this entirely done yet some of it may be broken unfortunately and that is a real shame just due to you know that word edit issue we had damn that's cool uh mr shots um dude you're banned uh for the simple sake of originality um i've been reported uh, listen we have no problem with you we actually like you dude but so you're the owner of you know a, another server and there's been like a lot of our stuff which has been spotted you know on your server like for example you've even gone down to the details of copying dragons handmade like electricity lines to the lighthouse and not you you haven't done it i know who's done it but you know we just want to keep our servers separate we kind of want to keep our builders separate and we want to keep them separate so there's no arguments for one and we also want to keep it separate for originality you'll come on our server you'll see loads of cool stuff you'll build it on your server and then you know that's just going to piss people off so to keep everything you know smooth to keep everyone happy i just want to keep everything separate okay i don't want to upset you guys and i want to keep the community you know clean and friendly so that's the only reason why i'm doing that i hope you understand it may seem ridiculous but you know i just want to keep this uh, community all cool and just chilled out you guys are finding this funny <laughs> Yeah, so that's why. We don't have anything against you, dude. You know, I appreciate the fact that you saw my ways when you originally disliked me, and now you've come to like me, and I appreciate that. Yeah, they are dragons. You know that lighthouse? Uh, boy, boy, sat there and watched Dragon for, like, the couple of hours he built it in. He was standing there watching Dragon build it, and he's like, oh, no, I've never even seen that lighthouse before. I was like, dude, I saw you standing outside there when he was making it. For like two straight hours, he didn't even go AFK. Like the dude was sat there watching Dragon build. So like, I just I don't want people you know copying our stuff, putting it on other servers. When people copy, it just it drives me mad. Like if I found one of your builds on my server, I would probably ban the builder for doing that. That would drive me ballistic for being like that. Yeah, remember uh, when yeah we... boss's bus got uh, copied by that one dude? And we all just went off on that yeah, dude. dude. I can't stand it when people copy builds like and call it their own. It drives me insane. Like we had this guy called Ven created this beautiful cathedral. I was like, Ven, this is amazing. One of my builders tells me it's actually on walk. I'm like, Ven, what the fuck? What have you done? You've gone onto walk. You've copied a build. You put it on here. Call it your own. That equals in a ban. He was a fantastic builder or a fantastic copier, and um, yeah, took him straight <laughs> off the server. So that's how seriously we take this. Yeah. So pathetic. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Um, you can donate in the link below if you want to. I would never ask anyone for money, but if you do donate, yeah, that would be really appreciated, and that's awesome, man. Thank you for uh, thanks for saying that. That's cool. Hey, Abla, how you doing, Mr. Shots? I'm just reading your message now. All right. Yeah, Mr. Shots, I'm just extremely worried about originality. Um, I, I love originality and I want to keep originality. That's all That's all I want. All I want for the server, all I want for your server, I want your server to be as, as original as possible to inspire people as much as it can and be unique and different to everything else. I think servers like that are amazing and awesome. Now, listen, there was a lot of banter between us and UTB a while ago, right? And a lot of that reflected on me very badly. But you know what UTB did? does now is completely upped its standards a lot of builders have been going around right deleting crappy bills i know goals one of them he's like sorting out the server cleaning it up and as a as a result of me maybe being a bit negative and a bit harsh which i do apologize for if i was utb is becoming a really good server like i think that is great and i'm really happy for utb sorting that out oh welcome to the stream man all right, uh, thanks, uh, Exo. Don't piss anyone off, you know. I don't want anyone to be annoyed. You go around deleting copies, you know. If it stresses people out and causes arguments, just prevent it. Hey, Grizzly. Oh, yeah, I heard of you. You're on my Twitter, right? 
do I check it out at all? The stream is great as always. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate that. And Chris, I'm going to be joining your network soon. Um, your network's really awesome. Unfortunately, I'm tied to this shitty contract with Broadband TV. They take 40% of my earnings, will not let me leave now. And they give me nothing in return. They didn't even help me when my channel got suspended for a relevant reason. Do I check my Twitter at all? You know what, guys? I'm going to take a quick break to check my Twitter. My phone has been buzzing like crazy. I'm surprised it hasn't thrown itself off the desk. Let's check what you guys have been sending me on Twitter. This stream is really going well, by the way, guys. I'm feeling it. GGJ is sick at traditional. I'm aware of that. He's really good builder. Guys, actually, you know, while I'm sorting this out, go check out GGJ16 on PMC if you're looking for some quick inspiration. The guy's really good at traditional. I actually did a few reviews for him back in the day when I was doing my old school reviews. Can you check out my channel and sub also? You are amazing. Thanks, Jeff. I really appreciate it. I only sub to channels that I really like. So don't take that to any offense. I don't know your channel, but I'm just saying I don't do sub for subs or anything. But I will check out your channel for sure. And yeah, I'll have a look at it. I'm just going to check my Twitter now and see what's up. Did someone just TP me? Oh, this is your house again, dude. So just remember what we said earlier. And uh, okay, what we said. All right, I've seen that you've liked that. I've got some personal messages, which I'm just going to read. Oh, the quest of Vanguard. I heard of that. You guys invited me to your SMP, right? Guys, I've been invited to a crazy amount, a crazy amount of survival uh, servers recently. It's been crazy, and I love survival servers. Honestly, just being on survival servers, like <laughs> it's so freaking cool. I've been stuck in this creative for way too long, and I get on a survival server, and you know, like I try out survival. I learn how to make sticks. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, uh, I played this little SMP series with a few of my friends and a few builders on the server, and we had a hell of a time. God damn, this is cool, Dragon. Um, I'm just going to say, survival is so much fun. You play with your friends on a multiplayer server. Just try it, guys. If you're always building in creative, give survival a go. I mean, my theory was, why go on survival when I can have all the blocks in creative? But I was thinking about it all wrong, you know? you got to work for it. And then when you do find them good blocks, you know, you're like, holy crap, I found diamonds. I found gold, you know? I really enjoyed doing it. So this is a collab by Mikey and Simplicity. Let's check this out. So this is like a little log cabin looking thing. Barn conversion. This thing looks sweet, guys. Well done. This looks really cool. Oh, okay, you do like Ark and other things. I'm not a big Ark guy myself. Um, I don't really like the game. Like, I'm not into that kind of dinosaur cartoon stuff. But like, don't take any offense to it. It's just not my kind of thing. Think and why did it broken here, guys? You may want to fix that. Um, but I saw your SMP. It looks cool. I've been invited to a lot of SMPs. So, you know, I will take my pick. I got invited to about six so far. Ever since I mentioned it on my Twitter. This is nice, guys. I love these support beams as well. They look epic. Wow, look at that. This is looking really cool. You guys should definitely do some more collabs. Some more Broken World edit, I think, right there. But check that out. Is that a fan? Never seen that design before. Just letting you know, you need to change these fences to the same World edit fences as these. So they, you know, come out on that side. But yeah, this is looking cool, guys. Well done. Waiting for a 4K render to download. Damn, dude, I'm sorry. Are you rendering it yourself? Or are you just downloading it from the internet? Because I know rendering them 4K things just take absolutely forever. <laughs> 6 cores, 12 gig of RAM. <laughs> and it's still going to be at least 6 minutes. Yeah, sure. That's fine, dude. You can tune in. Ask me any questions you want. You know, I've been asked a lot, so I don't want to just join one. And, you know, I want to tell everyone, you know, what I think of their SMPs. I recently got invited to Chaoscraft or Koshcraft. I, I forgot what it's called. But it's actually the SMP that Biggs plays on. And it's kind of like the SMP on the Hermit Craft. Now, I don't know. I might join it. It looks cool. I might not. I've been talking about making my own SMP and inviting a select group of people. Hear that, guys? <laughs> to the SMP, like 12 people in total. And uh, 
you know, that could be really cool. Come check out the exterior. Acti, man, I haven't seen you on the server in a while. It's good to have you back. This is insane, guys. Prepare yourself. Is this Minecraft? <laughs> yes, this is. All right, it's a download. That's good. Hey, Ethan, how you doing? All right, check out the exterior. So this is actually a skyscraper in London. I forgot what this is called. I thought it was called the Pinnacle, but it turns out that's actually a different one. Dude, I hope you finish building this. Have a look at the Pinnacle in London. It's a seriously cool skyscraper. So what we got in here? Any more work? Oh, are these like some excavators? Exo wants to TP. There you go, Exo. Look at this, guys. This is funky as hell, dude. Now, I think you should finish this. I understand you don't have world edit, but maybe have another more advanced builder. Just, you know, come along and have a look at this. Maybe help you out with some of the world edit. This thing has potential, you know. It's very, like, great at the moment, but it has potential. I could see this potentially being a really cool concept design of Skyscraper. And Acti, dude, this just looks amazing. This is absolutely fantastic. And also, Exo has been building this. Now, Vend actually copied a sky. He copied this. This is built by Vend, guys, so I can show it for you on the stream. This is what Vend copied off Wok. The guy that built this, I banned from my server. Oh no, this isn't it, is it? Is this it? Yeah, this is it. This is what Vend copied. Now, I banned this guy off. You know, he copied a guy's build, but look at the dedication this guy must have had to put in. Oh, you guys are in total 59k subs, like the whole group added up. Oh, that's pretty cool. So your community is like, you know, pretty popular. That's pretty sick. I'm slowly working my way up. I want to be creating more live streams and doing more videos. I actually worked out if I had uploaded a consistent schedule every day since I started YouTube. Guys, guess how many subs I'd be on. Put your comments down below. I suck at doing YouTube, like as in a consistency. I can never keep making videos. I'll have them days where I just feel crappy and I just don't feel like making videos. I really got to be in the mood to kind of, you know, make videos or live stream. Um, can I help my name? Okay. Cookie Man for Life. Welcome to the stream, man. That's a random name. Guess how many subs I would be on if I actually didn't miss a day. In total, you're 96k. How many members do you have in your community? That's a big community. Now, Goal has decided to make some kind of modern mosque looking apartment building, I think, right? Goal, this could actually be cool. I feel like it's a little bit too repetitive and it's a little bit too symmetrical. Maybe you can make it a bit more funky and cool. But I think you should go ahead with your mosque style, um, your mosque style apartment building or whatever it is. I'm really not sure <laughs> what the hell that is. Your biggest member is 59k. That is crazy. Hey, welcome class classic to the stream. Wow, this stream's actually not doing too bad, guys. I had no idea how this stream was going to turn out. You know, I was just like, I'm going to start streaming this time. And it's good to know that a lot of you tuned in to watch it. So, you know, thanks for watching it. Uh, guys, please do TP me about on the server. If you've got something cool to show the stream. And, you know, something cool and unique to show on the server. I can actually show you guys something really cool. Now, this is one of the very first server builds. A lot of people ask me, builds, I see your server and all these cool modern creations. Where is your traditional creations? Well, guys, we've got one right here. We don't have many traditional creations, i got to say. But what we do have is freaking cool. Look at this. This is like a real life museum, I think. Check this thing out though. It's crazy, right? This is built by Dubsy, who's conveniently TPing me somewhere. What do we got here? Oh yeah, guys, I've got another traditional thing to show you. Now Dubsy is really getting into these diagonal kind of things recently. Look at this diagonal wall. You're going to become the diagonal master. This is like, this is crazy. I couldn't do this. This would hurt my brain thinking about all them diagonal lines. All right, man. See you later. Uh, thanks for tuning into the stream. I'm glad that, you know, you're chill about the situation with our servers. Let's keep it calm. Let's keep it low key. I don't want any arguments, no negativity. 
with creative servers you can build up a lot of tension and i want to try and remove that in any possible way let's create friendly communities and let's create original communities see you later man mr shots is actually uh, starting a brand new community a creative server where they're focusing purely on quality like us and we've seen a bit of a lack of originality from them uh from a couple of builders and you know we just want to set things straight so you know it's mr shots dubsy this is pretty cool gotta say this looks cool this is gonna be a sick house when it's done i can't wait till we get our traditional wolf done can you guys imagine when we put in all these houses oh this is built by a trial builder this is built by ghosty let's see ghosty's done some broken world edit guys i do apologize i would say it's under standards man but i know you're only a trial builder and you know you've tried so i appreciate that Remember, we're building in flows, dude. I'm not quite sure what this traditional door is supposed to be, but it's pretty messed up. But thanks for, you know, trying. You know, that's what counts. And, you know, criticism is always good because, you know, you can grow off it. I mean, when I started YouTube, my first videos were so crap, guys. Go back, watch some of my first videos. My mic was terrible. Like, I sounded like a robot. I was like, hey, guys. Welcome back to another video. I was just so boring to watch. I had no enthusiasm, no drive. My buildings were just crap. I had no idea why anyone watched me. Um, my editing was just horrendous. And thanks to people just being, you know, critical and just constantly giving me criticism. Like, I use that to kind of, you know, use as motivation to kind of drive and improve my channel. And now, you know, I've got 6K subscribers. Not a huge number, but, you know, that's just from some basic criticism. And I'm always looking to improve. So if you guys have got any suggestions on things I can do or things I can improve on, that would be appreciated. Welcome, Joshua, to the stream. Yeah, this is Classics Building. This is in Slash Wall Bristol. If you guys want to check it out, as always, just TP to me on the server. Who's an idiot and why? But yeah, this is really cool. I love this classic. Oh, I didn't notice this. Is this new? You've got like a little bar right here. Damn, look at this. <laughs> That's so freaking cool. I love the color scheme on your build, dude. And these mini little trees. I gotta say, I loved the patio design. I've never seen someone come up with this kind of wooden flooring. I think that looks really, really cool. Of course, them like shivery style tables. Can't go wrong with them. They look absolutely awesome. The actual build itself is so unique. I haven't seen many builds actually look like this before. I think it's like a really cool concept, dude. This is like architect standard. Easily. So have we got any other builds that we can show to you guys? This is a really cool one. We quickly browsed it at the start, but I didn't really show, you know, the whole thing. Jasper, our situation with Corrales and God is so unclear. And I'm going to be making a separate video on that. See, God tells me it's being confirmed. He said, Corrales has confirmed he's coming on your server. I have tweets from Corrales saying, sounds like a plan. We're going to come on the server and we're going to record. They're like, we're going to come on Wednesday. We're going to come on Thursday. We're going to come on Friday. And, you know, I get a server set up every time for them and they do not show up. It is so annoying, so frustrating. At this point in time, I have absolutely no idea what the hell is happening. I have absolutely no idea what is happening with the whole Corrales situation and I just I don't know what's going on it's legitimate I can prove it I've got Skype messages from Godcraft I've got tweets from Corrales that this thing is supposed to happen both of them are just very unreliable together like if I say I'm going to review something at this date at this time I go do it but I don't know I've been put off like about eight times my staff have you know what I listed the server for them about seven times and they just haven't showed up so I don't know what's going down with God in Corrales, guys. I really don't, but I will keep you guys updated on it, and hopefully we can fix it. Classic, please finish this house. This house looks amazing. Look at this, guys. Like a barn conversion concept. I really like your style, dude. It's unique, and a lot of people are lacking that kind of, you know, unique look with a lot of these barns are starting to look the same. Wasn't that the dickhead who got banned? <laughs> Exo's been unbanned, dude. He apologized. 
you know, he's always been nice and helped out. I think there was some confusion. I saw some of your trad, dude. Um, I liked it, but I don't like the fact that it's so repetitive. I mean, it almost looks like you've built the same house. In fact, I think you may have actually built the same house and copied and pasted it. What I would do is I would create different houses in every single row. I like the fact that you created these small modern, these small traditional houses even. You know, they're cool and unique and they look nice, but I just don't like the repetitiveness, you know? Copy, paste, copy, paste. I'd rather have a cool, new, unique build every time we go along this road. And I'd probably put it a little bit further out, dude. I think we've got this lovely country theme going on with all these big houses surrounded by trees. And then instantly we get straight into these compact kind of like suburban like little houses. I think we should spread it out a little bit more and, you know, just get things fixed. <laughs> Exo says, thank you, girl. <laughs> I take it for that with uh, girl's comment. Exo is being sarky. Let's get through here and see what we can find. Is there anything we can find? Oh, there's a new project going down here. There's a new project going down here. We've got a lot going on in Bristol, i got to say. Oh, yeah, we've got a project here. Who is this by? This is looking quite cool. Probably space that tree out a little bit, man. And make this side a little bit longer, just saying. Uh, no problem, classic. I think we need to be original with every house, and I think the copy pasting business is a cool idea. I can see you've changed the textures, but I think it would be way cooler if you move them into a more suburban area where we have more compact houses. This is really kind of rural looking, and I like the fact of that. Like all these barn conversions with all this space going straight into compact houses. I don't think that works that well. I think we should have a nice dedicated area. Builds, go play Tetris. Not a Tetris fan myself. <laughs> Sorry, I prefer Minecraft. Who is this Burke? <laughs> Burke person. But anyway, this is also a, something that we want to do to the whole area. We plan to do this like along the area, like just landscape the side. As you can see, Bristol has this really nice landscaping along the coastlines, all these little rivers. Like all these little details and we plan to do this all along the coast it's going to look really cool give it a cool effect what the hell is that i did not know what that is but anyway guys let's find something else to showcase while we're on the server i think mikey's been working on a few new projects i'm going to try and make it to 60 minutes we got five minutes left of this stream Oh yeah, this is a new project that Mikey's working on between Classics House and Anthony's. That's looking really cool, man. So I think I'm going to bring the end to the stream now. Oh, <laughs> dude, you're joining a little bit late. But thanks for tuning in anyway. I mean, you can go back and check the stream by just skipping back. I just want to say, guys, thank you all for joining the stream. Let's just end this in front of Gold's house. Go, by the way, I really like this house, dude. Um... Thank you everyone for joining. I really do appreciate it. Leave the video a like if you did enjoy it. Drop a comment down below. This will be re-uploaded to YouTube. But I think I'm going to take it down, edit it, give it some music, some annotations. And, you know, just like edit the audio a little bit, get it sounding a bit better. I understand sound of the video may be a little bit laggy. YouTube's been a bit unreliable throughout the stream and I do not know why. But I will sort that out in my editing program. So I will see you guys later in the next stream. Uh, I'm probably not going to stream on Monday because Monday is the most unpopular day for YouTube. I do not upload on Mondays, but I may stream on Tuesday. If you guys want to see a stream from Tuesday, let me know on Twitter. Let me know on YouTube. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll catch you there. See you guys later. Love you all so much. And I'll see you there.